Hello and welcome to another Versus video. I'm Todd Anderson. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Ross. Today we're going to be playing some standard in preparation for the Invitational next week. Right on, Columbus. This weekend there's not a whole lot going on. That's that's the story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but today we're going to be playing some standard. I'm going to be playing a Tarka Red as piloted by Nathan Zamora at the uh, Star City Games Standard Open in Dallas, Texas last weekend. Right on. What are you playing? I'm playing Mardu Dragons. I got fifth place at that same tournament. But I ho hopefully I don't butcher this. Michael <laughs> Villavicenci. It's close enough. I hope Michael isn't offended if we got it wrong. Um, so this matchup is... It's, it might be a little rough. I'm not going to lie. I, um, you know, we, when we were, like, putting the decks together and stuff, I, I thought that, you know, a bunch of Seeker of the Ways and a bunch of Soulfire Grandmasters, combined with things like Draconic Roar to gain a ton of life, uh, Foul Tongue Invocation with all the dragons, I thought that maybe it would be enough to help, you know, boost Tom's life uh, enough so that I couldn't kill him. But Tom plays a lot of, you know, red decks, and he said that he beat the crap out of Owen in the Standard Super League a while back. Yeah, I was playing Mono Red, he was playing Mardu Dragons, and it seemed really easy from my point of view. Um, I don't think this deck has the tools to beat Mono Red. It doesn't have the Bob Lights or Drowned Sorrows. Or the life yeah. game is kind of slow. It really relies on creatures that get killed by your burn spells, Lightning Strike and Wild Slash. Yeah, well, hopefully, um, you know, we do have some interactive games. Here's crossing my fingers. <laughs> I really hope I lose, actually, just to prove them wrong. But anyway, let's get to the games. I won the die roll. We're here for game one. Um, any hand without something to do on turn two is pretty unplayable, but this hand has a good mix of two drops and lands. Exactly what I need to beat Mono Red. All right, cool. Well, my hand is Classic Fair for a Mono Red deck, uh, or at least this version. And uh, got a little spicy one here. Well, hopefully that one becomes useful at some point. Becomes useful, huh? All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I need yet, but I have to play it first. Some on three. Mm. I think this is actually bad in the matchup. I'll be siding him out. Let's put bottom that. All right. Good. Uh, so for those of you wondering why there is a string of Cedric Phillipses uh, next to me. Ouch. This deck makes a lot of goblins, and uh, I wanted to have them at the ready. It's my Cedric shoe, if you will. Ooh. All right. Gio. Gio. All right. Gio. Gio. I'll get a mountain, cast dragon fodder to this. Any responses? Yeah, I'm a draconic road, eh, fella. I got a. You got a dragon? Got a dragon. Man! Just drew it, dude. <laughs> That's why you bought him that other card. Alright, let me get these two doofus. I don't mean to call you a doofus, boss. It was an accident. So I'm at 18 for fetch land damage. Yep. You're 16. I'm at 16. Perfect. Go. Hmm. Well, I guess I better be casting that. I don't see any other good windows to cast it. All right, here it is. It's oh, a good one. Dangerous. My hand a great. What can I beat? Probably not these hoarding outbursts. Probably gain enough life where I don't get stoked. Are those stoked is good against my hand. Outburst is very good against my hand, too. Yeah, take the outburst. Yeah. Might have taken most of the wind out of our sails here. We need to draw. We have a lot of burn, but like Tom said, he does have a bit of life gain, so. So 16 all. Your turn. Yep. Attack. I don't know if this Arcana Core is going to get better this game. Well, you know I've become immense, so it might be foolish to cast Arcana Core right now. It would be. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. All right. Go. Right. Hmm. Go. Okay. All right. Uh, dash. Hmm. What the? What if I just take six from the card? It might be all right. I move to attacks. Yeah, go ahead. All right. 
no more hugs. And I'll pump this guy once. What? Yep. That way, if you crack on Doom, it dies, and then I can pump that guy. In case anybody was wondering. Oh, okay. I'm going to direct corner for that. All right. <laughs> Oh, and I, remove I, I will, your dragon. I will get hit with. Hold on a second. I will get hit when I. Maybe I don't care. I get hit for six. Uh, I go four. Hmm. I should play differently. Yeah, just take three. I'll take my six damage. We can play take three taxes if you want, man. No, uh, get me. All right, I'm at thirteen. It's dead. And then delete seven, put you to seven. I go to twelve. Eat that turn, I'm six. Uh, six. Oh, yeah, I'm stupid. I'm really bad at that. All right. Twelve, six. Yeah, some sticks. Hmm. Should cast a different spell. I'm doing this all wrong. Um. Uh, yeah, go. Oh, good one. <coughs> Darn. Attack. Oh, alright, sacrifice the dude. This guy. You can't gain life, but take three damage. <laughs> That's just main phasing everything. <laughs> yeah, probably. Alright, and then I'll wild slash you to death. Cool. All right. Lesson learned. Okay, here for game two. I'm on the play. I don't have any red mana yet, but I got this temple and some two drops, some cheap cards. It's worth a keep. Uh, my side, we're on six, and I need to land pretty bad to cast these, but uh, if we do, it could be really good. All right. Looking for a red mana. It's probably the last thing we'll see. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, let's take uh, old Tommy Boy to Founder Street. Show him a good time. Seems reasonable. <laughs> That's where he's comfy. Hmm. Just like home. I kind of want to do this on turn four. So that means I have to do nothing this turn. Probably okay. Yeah. Dragon fodder. Nope. All right. Attack. Uh, just play this and say go. Hmm. Open mana, you say? Yeah, don't have two drop. Well, you won't. Uh, hmm. Let's start to do your good stuff. Yeah, go. Screw right. it. Upkeep, I'll <laughs> fetch. There it is. Let's get a mountain. We need to get a goblin out of these rebel masters. All right. Well, I think this is probably the best course. Let's cast this. I'll try to do some stuff. All right. Take one. Yeah, you take one down to eighteen. Uh, I'll take two down to seventeen. Gotcha. I fetched once and took two from Crackling Doom, right? Hmm. That's it. Yeah. All right. Cedric's out the shoe. You're up. Get my scry on. Yep. Seems like a good one. Small and castable. That's what I like. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. He's still out of my shoe. <laughs> Any blocks? Nope. All right. Go ahead. Uh, strike this. Good. Uh, attack for. Mm. That was probably bad. Yeah. Kind of want to dash this stupid Zergo. <laughs> I feel like it's just going to get crackle and doomed or hit with something, but. Yeah, we'll dash him. Hit you for five. I'm going to take one from my mana confluence. I'm at 13. 15, 13. Dash trigger. Right. This turn, I think I'm okay not casting two spells. Yeah, I'll take another goblin. 
attack with. Just that. Oh wait, I have to tackle both. Never yeah, mind. you gotta tackle both, or you gotta stoke the flames. Your choice. Hmm. Okay, I'll tackle both. All right, <clears throat> take two. I'm at thirteen. Go. Four star. All right. Dash Zergo. Alright. Attack. So, what does the Tarkus command do to me? Uh, Take. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put you to 1. Put me to 4. Alright. Alright. So, yep. Pump all my guys, deal 3 to you, so you go to 10. Uh -huh. Trade 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, put you to 3. Triggered. So I hope you don't have a wild slash, I guess. Hmm. This is what this deck does. Draconic <laughs> <laughs> Roar to that. All right. Oh, wait, it's only three damage. Oh, well. I mean, three. <laughs> oh, you don't have a dragon? No. All right. Yeah. You go to six. Yeah. Uh, gotta kill you somehow. So we'll get it for one. Yeah, that seems reasonable. All right. Twelve, six. Go. <clears throat> Drop. Exactly what I needed. Yeah. Um. Okay, okay. Maybe I should attack so I can see my double block on. I'm just blocking this guy. Hi. Not Bruce. Take one. I'm at eleven. Mm. All right. The Cedric shoot. No Good. land. Come on. No land. No land. <laughs> I need a land actually? Yeah, I did. Oh no. Okay. Well, kill one of them and make a discard a card. Alright, you're gonna right. gain two life up to eight. Yeah. I will discard the Zergo. And this is dead. Oh, yeah, two cards. Oh well, whatever. They were both very good. <laughs> uh. This, this guy. Alright, I don't think I can afford to block here, so. 8 10. Just gonna go have to draw a removal spell for old Soulfire GM. Draw 10 to 8. Yeah, 10 to 8. Yep. Yeah. Dash, dash. Attack. Boom. I'll just leave this back to block that from now on. I'll just block that guy. Alright, I'll take one, you take three. Five, ten, nine. Uh, yeah, that's great. One, go. Huh. I get aggro on you now. <laughs> no. Dash. <laughs> Seven, five, That's only six. Okay, but I agree with you. Whack. You gain two. You seven, go seven. Seven, eight. Yep, I got eight. Dead. Oh no, all the Cedric's. Dead. All the Cedric's Die. dead. No! Go. That's so bad for me. I will. I guess just cast it. What it is? <laughs> Go. Maybe I should Suicidal dash it. goblins. Hmm. This card doesn't do anything. This guy hit you. You go to less life. That's true. I will go to less so, life. Uh, trade rabble for this, hit you for three. Or I just hit you for one and lose my guy. 
Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Tom's winning all these matches. He's got sticky sleeves. <laughs> all right. So let's see if I can afford to actually take the realm master damage. So this is four. Uh, if I go block here, take four, five, six, seven, I can go down to one. Tom will go to nine. This will be one, two, three, four, five. Five pumps that will turn this off. Or five damage, three pumps. It's not enough. I think I have to trade and hope to draw out of it. So, right. Pump once. I'll take three. Down to five. You go to nine. Yeah, buddy. Okay. I'm done. Bricks or... Yeah, kind of. Let's play another hmm. monster's twist spear. Double blocker, huh? Yeah. Thinking about it. Let's say go. Spell? No. Rats. <laughs> what? Go. <laughs> Drop. Alright. Oh. Probably stupid, but do what everyone else does. Just thin the deck. Go. I'd rather not. I know. You've had scries though, I haven't. Ooh. Am I dead? Storm no. Morph Dragon. That's more than I got. You got six. Alright, eight money. Enter a good card. It's a burn spell. Alright. Alright. Buy back my card. <laughs> Conic Ward at. Alright. You go 11. to 11. I'll attack with that guy. You go 13, I go to 2. Yep. Go. Whoa. Where are my dragons at? Go. I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, become an that guy. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so on my side, uh, we're going to be upping the uh, thread density a little bit as far as uh, total number of creatures versus total number of non creatures. But also, we're kind of just upgrading to having more powerful standalone cards as opposed to things that run into sweeper effects. Almost every single uh, black or red deck has, has access to Anger of the Gods or Drown and Sorrow, uh, not to mention things like Scouring Sands and the like. Um, and we, we need our cards to hit pretty hard, and even when they die, to usually deal some damage. And that's why we're bringing in the other two Route Masters and the four Eidolon. Feather Tree Denison is a card that forces you to overextend to make it good. So normally when I'm playing a red deck and my opponent is bringing in sweepers or already has sweepers, I like to trim some number of these, uh, especially if the sweepers are cheap. Now, if their sweepers are in hostilities, that doesn't really count. You want as many Foundry Street Denison as possible. When, but when it's Anger of the Gods, Drown and Sorrow, you basically just have to run two cards headlong into it to do anything. Otherwise, you're just stuck playing a 1-1. One -one. Um, <clears throat> since the games are going to slow down, uh, he is going to have more removal. We're going to cut the Becomments and the Atarkas Command. Uh, we, Like I said, we want to up our threat density, but we also need to have answers to things like Seeker of the Way and... Uh, so far, Grandmaster, so I don't think we can afford to have our spells not uh, kill those. Right on. So, Crackling Doom is at its worst right here against all its token makers. Um, with that said, still Foul Song Invocation is good enough because of the life gain that comes attached to it. Sadly, this uh, the removal is kind of glutted on three, but the removal does get better with more two-for-ones and stuff. Um, I have one Thought Seed still in the main, but I, I feel like it's a pretty poor card in the matchup. But uh, having one BR, I really don't have enough cards to take out. I'd like to get rid of the dragons too, the more expensive ones. They really just turn on the foul tongue and the draconic horrors, and that it. It's a. Uh, it only the dragons only really come down if I'm winning the game anyway. But hopefully, I'll catch it with the anger of the gods, even though he kind of sideboarded against it. We'll see. All right, I'm on the play here for game three, and my hand is pretty awesome. I have a functional yet painful hand. I do something on three. These realm masters ought to be all right. And if I draw a dragon for this foul tongue, I'd be in good shape. All right, let's do All it. Right, 19 battle toads. 
Take another one. Dragon Father. Great. Two. 18, 17. Yep. Go. I'll just draw. I wouldn't mind drawing a mountain. Hmm. Go. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to play into it. Hopefully, he just doesn't have it. 17, trigger this. Okay. Attack for four. 13. Go. Even though I am about to anger him, I'm still taking a lot of damage from everything. Alright. 12. One of the worst parts about anger is it usually costs some life to cast. It's tough to have more than one mountain in play. So I took a pain for that. I should be. 11, 11. Yep. Life now. Alright, your turn. Perfect. Bobby. Dead. Bobby Rabbles. Tin. Go. Okay. Mm, look on that card, huh? Is it good? I don't think so. Okay. Get bottom did it. Um, go. Crap. Um, all right. Into your first main. I'll do that. I got the dragon right here. All right. I got a fourteen. Yep. Thank you, guy. Type two. Okay. Go. Sadly, I really don't have time to even cast this foul song invocation. Oh no, take your time. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> or get my rebels to play either. Okay. Alright, go. I'll go to 13 for draw. Tuckus command. I kill you? Probably. Three, four, yep. Alright. Battle trigger. Okay. Five. Six you. Nine you. Three. Bang! Okay. Alright, we're here for game four. I'm on the play. I got a good mix here. I cast all my spells. I've got the soul fire. Let's rock. Alright, my end is. Uh, a little slow, we don't have a one drop, but I think that's okay after board, especially when all of our cards are these. It's pretty powerful stuff going on, so. I'll just lead with this. Go. Go. Hmm. Uh, I have to get mountain. 19. I guess he could have a Wild Slash, but since I have Colagon's Command, I don't mind losing a creature if I get to buy it back. Take one for that. I'm at 18. Alright. I'm done. Alright, I'll kill him, dude. Didn't have him before. That was a good draw. Play Eidolon of the Great Rebel. Go. Makes my Rebel Master look real bad. <laughs> That was my plan all along. Go. Alright, home on that mana here is a bit uh, not questionable. It's, I don't really want to play this thing, so we'll just battle here. We have an, a, a really good option anyway, so. I will take it. Alright. Six to sixteen. We'll take two. Play the hordling out first. Eighteen. Eighteen, sixteen. Here you go. Hmm. 
What can I do with this cone dots coming? I don't know. It's not well. I do need to get the soul fire back sometime. I guess I'll do it. Right. Fifteen. A moment. Tom has fancy lands. Better on the mana, though. I do take an extra two by doing this. Uh, dis discard a card. Alright, so you go to 13. Yeah. You mean discard a card? Yeah. Ooh, that means I'm gonna get angered. Alright, well, I guess I'll discard the extra land. Oh, uh, yeah, anger him at 11. Alright, let's see if we can pick him down after this. Do it. Alright, Rebel. Bang. You're 10. Yeah. Alright. He just always gets a rebel. Turn before I do. It's tough to beat. Alright, attack you. Block. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Swiss Spear, Lightning Strike him. Trigger. Uh, attack for 8. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I give up. No! You can draw another Anger! Uh -uh. <laughs> Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Here for game five. I need a third land to get my three drop spells in action, but I have a good start, so we're doing it. Well, uh, I'm on six, even though I only have one land. My hand is pretty good. Hopefully, uh, we draw a nice mix of lands and spells and close out this this match. Ooh, All right, uh, we'll get a mountain. We'll play as I go. Sweet. Yep. Hmm. It is no longer a Helm Smasher, but a lowly Bell Striker. Maybe greedy to play Seeker the way. One way. <laughs> we'll play one way top. <laughs> uh, I ain't gonna be greedy. I'll just kill it now. Alright. Go to 16. Go. That's a lot of damages. Rats. There we go. Go. So I'm scared of. Alright. Uh, go. Well, Tom doesn't have another land, so that's great. Just gonna kill him now. Play this. Kill that. Trigger this. I got a 15 from Confluence. 4 you down to 16. Go. Go. Alright. Now what? Let's go. I'll leave up removal in case he goes land rebel master. Uh, I'll just guess. Squatter, take one. 14. And we'll respond with this. Build that again. Yep. So you gain four up to 20? Yep. Um, I guess. I haven't. There's a potential for me to just not be able to play a spell every single turn uh, and pump the Swift Spear, but at the same time, um, Zergo could be redundant, but if I draw the third one, but I'll just go with this. 15, 18, 15. Uh, I'm at 14. 14, okay. 18, 14. You're up. Alright. <coughs> No, no. I don't know if it's a dragon or an anger, but both are pretty bad. Seventeen. It's a dragon. Okay. Hopefully, I can just beat you with dragons. Dragons, plural. Oh boy. Right. Oh boy. That's Seventeen. Yeah, go. All right. Oh, bears take one. Right. Thirteen. Good news. <laughs> go. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not going to be making any more Cedric's this game. Can you kill me with my darkest command? I don't think so. 10, 13, 16. One short. The wall flash. Four. This deck 
Or sorry, I'll go to five and kill that. Whoa. Hope I don't die. Whoa. Well, it's either that or just take eight. Yeah. I, was just, I was one away from getting you. <laughs> You're one away from killing me. Yeah. All right. Well, that last game was uh, uh, made me sad. It was closer. Closer it looks. Yeah. Um, I was a little disappointed. Actually, no. I, I So I thought that I would have won that game, but you could have just blocked a Swiss beer. I could have lightning struck mm. you instead of the dragon, but um, you still would have been a one. Uh, but you know, the, my my Swiss spear would have naturally killed your your guy, but I still would have lost. So, right. but um, I don't know. The matchup was a lot more um, one sided than it than like it came out to be. I think mm. the uh, the sheer like power level of the red deck versus its casting cost is pretty huge, right? Like. My monster Swiss spears, my Zergos, they're like putting a ton of pressure on you. My removal spells like trade up really well with your creatures because I'm right. able to like wild slash your two and three drops. Um, so it wasn't a great matchup for for you, but uh, you did win two games, and that's that's what's important. And I think that there's a lot to uh, to work on with the the Marty Dragon stack to make it better against decks like this. Mm -hmm. uh, cards like a Ration Cleric, uh, maybe even like Bob Blights. Uh, Anger seemed pretty decent, but Drown Sorrow might be better. I like Drawn Sorrow. I think the scrying is good enough. Uh, really, it's Wild Slash that changes uh, the difference. Yeah, if like, you had had access to a few Wild Slashes too, yeah, that would have been really yeah, good. Even this, I can go like a Temple, then another Tap Land and Wild Slash, or Turn 3, Soul Fire, Wild Slash. Yeah. Pretty big game. It's better than any of the three drop uh, like removal options that there are. Mm -hmm. um, I really liked uh, uh, your, your like post board configuration as far as like. Uh, being able to interact with me like on a more fundamental level, I guess. Like your your deck was a little bit slower, but you, I think you paced it well. Um, like there were probably a couple turns where you could have like played a two drop and chose not to because you didn't mm -hmm. want to run into my removal spells. And I think that it's important for uh, decks that play cards like Seeker and Soulfire Grandmaster. Those cards are two drop creatures, but you don't always have to cast them on turn two. You can you know pace yourself, make sure that you can keep them alive. Uh, longer. Make sure you make your opponent use their mana on their turns that's not exactly convenient for them. Right. Uh, there was that one game where I left up two mana on turn two without a play, but I had Lightning Strike, and Tom just didn't play his creature, which was really smart. And it ended up like making me have a, an entire turn where I did nothing, mm -hmm. and then uh, two turns later when I needed to kill like his Soulfire Grandmaster, I had to spend my turn doing it instead of casting like Hordling Outburst or whatever. Right on. Yeah, I think if a uh, red's big in your area, I would just recommend playing uh, either fitting some wild slashes main or fitting in some either bob lights or scouring sands and sideboard or even a card like art lightning will be uh, another good complement to a sweeper like Dronosaur or, or Anger of the Gods. Yep, uh, Arashian Cleric is another card that's been cropping up a lot right. lately. Um, it, it doesn't look that good on on paper, but I can assure you that it's basically just Siege Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, it gains a lot of life, uh, blocks a bunch. They have to use a removal spell on it, or you eat like two goblins or something over the course of a few turns. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, I know this was a short video, but that's kind of how it goes when you play a red deck. Uh, that's going to be all for me and Tom this week. Make sure you check out Versa Video later in the week. We're going to be spotlighting a little bit of Modern on Wednesday, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, Brad versus BBD. Um, and they're playing Modern in preparation for the Invitational in uh, Columbus that's not next weekend, but or not this weekend, but the weekend after. And uh, it's going to be uh, half standard, half modern. So if you're a fan of modern, make sure that you are either preparing for the Invitational yourself or you're preparing to watch it on SCG Live. Uh, we will be bringing that to you from Columbus a uh, week and a half from now. But uh, anyway, that's all for me and Tom this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Been a pleasure. Bye, y'all.